Good morning, Mara. Happy birthday! In honor of your turning 19, I've put together 19 top tips for your freshman year, so let's get started. Number one, use your student ID to get discounts, whether that's 10% off all purchases at a local business or something like free two-day shipping online. But number two, don't buy your textbooks from the school bookstore no matter how deep they say the discount is, it still won't be worth it. Instead, rent your textbooks online or get them secondhand. Better yet, go to the library on campus and access the school textbook reserves for free. Number three, take advantage of the Career Services Center on campus. Not only can they help you find jobs and internships, but they can also workshop your resume or your interview skills with you free of charge. Speaking of free stuff, number four, go to your student health center for a free checkup at least once every year. And while we're on the topic of staying healthy, number five, take advantage of the free campus gym membership that you get just for being a student. But number six, there is such a thing as too much free stuff specifically when it comes to dining hall food, be aware of what you eat while you're in the dining hall so that you can avoid the freshman 15. Speaking of eating in the dining hall, number seven, never do anything alone that you can do with someone else. Click my face for more info. Speaking of staying social, subscribe to department and club email lists so that you can keep an eye out for any upcoming events on campus. Number nine, if you're not checking your school email at least twice a day, you're doing it wrong. This is how professors will communicate with you. Which brings me to number 10. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Go to your professor's office hours. Click my face for more info. Speaking of academic things, number 11. Use the syllabi your professors handed out at the beginning of class to plan out your work for the rest of the term so that you can avoid a 30 deadline pileup in any one particular week. Number 12. When you're signing up for classes, build a daily schedule that works for you. Don't sign up for all morning classes if you, like me, are just not a morning person. Speaking of schedules and plans, number 13. You should have a four-year plan for how you're going to complete your major, study abroad, and whatever other academic goals you have in four years, with wiggle room built into it so you have a backup plan in case something goes wrong. And while we're talking about backups, number 14. You should be backing up your laptop at least once a week so you don't lose all your schoolwork if something goes wrong with it. Similarly, you should run a weekly malware scan to make it less likely that anything will go wrong. Another pro tip for avoiding unnecessary disasters is number 15. Don't leave your laundry unattended, or it may not be there when you come back to put it in the dryer. Number 16, we've covered a lot of on-campus resources, but I'm sure there are far more that I haven't talked about. So if there's something you need, but you're not sure where to find it, ask your RA for help. It's literally their job to help you find those things. Which brings us to number 17, actively advocating for yourself. As I talked about last week, click on my face for more info, you're already doing a great job with this, but you need to make sure to keep it up throughout the rest of your time in college. Number 18, do you know what else you shouldn't stop doing? Applying for scholarships. There are plenty of them out there that are accessible not just to high school students applying to college, but to current college students like you looking for that extra little boost to fund the rest of their education. And finally, number 19, Recognize how lucky you are to be in college and have these four years to devote to your personal and intellectual growth, to focus on your education, to make new friends, and to basically do whatever you want. I'm grateful every day for the time I spent in college, for the friends I made, for the things I learned, and for all the opportunities I had. But today, I'm mostly grateful to have an amazing sister like you doing this video blog project with me. Thank you, Mara, and happy birthday. I'll see you soon.